There are some rules in place about disclosure, and sometimes they're out there. But if you want to speed, even though you have a speed limit posted, you can still be illegal and go faster than the speed limit. Where I'm going here, folks, is buyer beware. So we've told you about it. The SEC has told you about it. FINRA has told about it. Well, let's talk about buyer beware. We had several clients this week came to us and said, there are advisors who just continue to pound us about these annuities. And folks, you have to ask a number of questions. And one of the questions, Mark, that we need to talk about is full disclosure of the product and the fees. And that's not happening. Right, because people can hold themselves out as a fiduciary because they can be wearing that hat at a particular time. But those folks out there that are dual registered, we call that, so they can take the fiduciary hat off with the salesman hat on. Up to you, buyer beware, to know the difference. When am I getting advice? When am I getting a sales pitch? Right. That's impossible. What people want is advice and they want that from somebody they know they can believe in that's giving them guidance in their best interest all the time. Right. So how do we have buyer beware? Number one is they have to disclose this. They have to disclose that there are either a FINRA registrant or going to sell you an annuity. And they're supposed to tell you about the compensation, folks, because the compensation that they get is dramatically different. So we saw a product this week where the guy tried to sell one of our clients an annuity, and it was a 10% commission. So they were going to put in $200,000 into this product, and that guy was going to get paid $20,000. Go do the math on how that gets recaptured back by the insurance company, right, right. because don't pretend that they're just paying that out out of goodwill. It's coming out of your money. Right. You have to look at all of those expenses that are layered in there and the drag that that's going to be on any potential performance that you got from right. that annuity product. So are you 100% a fiduciary all the time? Right. Ask the question, do you have any other registrations? Do you right. have the ability to generate revenue anywhere else other than by the fees that I pay to you? They have to be able to answer that honestly and straightforward. Otherwise, you've got to know buyer beware. So, Dr. Jacobson, you also have a Juris Doctorate, not that you practice law, but <laughs> you've gone through that. And so mm -hmm. documenting, communicating, disclosing, all of these things are part of the process. Unfortunately, some of the clients have got to ask these questions. They do, because the Government Accountability Office did a survey of a random number of these duly registered advisors, broker-dealers. They found that the answers that they were giving were very muddled. Mm -hmm. They would try to tap dance around the questions. How are you getting paid? Are you getting paid off of this? A direct question. And if they tap dance around it, just keep following up with that question. Know the difference means what? Yeah, it means, first of all, make sure you have a team of professionals that bring all those various services that you count on. That's comprehensive wealth. 100% fiduciary environment without those opportunities for conflicts of interest that come from different compensation models, meaning the only way that the advisory firm that you partner with gets paid is fees for service. That's really the heart of making sure that you have a model that's aligned around your interests.